The Christmas holidays tend to be most people's favorite time of the year for things such as giving presents, getting presents, spending time with your family, and getting some time off of work or school. But as with anything else in life, that doesn't mean that reckless behavior should take place, and as a result, there are things to do and not to do during Christmas time. If you have a natural live tree, making sure it's uh, thoroughly wa watered uh, daily, you don't want that tree to dry out and become a fire hazard in, inside your living room. Uh, if you're u using Christmas lights on the tree, make sure that they're inspected. There's no frays or kinks in the in the actual lighting system. Um, make sure they're uh, CSA approved, same with the light bars. You're not overloading any sockets and extension cords you're, if you're using power bars that you're not uh, overdoing the, the power supply. For reference, a dry natural tree is said to be able to be ignited within seconds and can result in a very dangerous flash over type of fire. And this past summer showed just how bad tree based fires can become. So it's best to make sure your tree isn't near any kind of fireplace, heater, or any other type of heat source. But the trees aren't the only increased fire hazard at this time of year. We will see an uptake in, in cooking related uh, fires or smoke conditions. So we just want to remind residents that you're cleaning your oven. When you are cooking, you're not uh, using substance and, uh, and leaving your cooking unattended. So making sure you're in the room and watching it thoroughly. Um, making sure that uh, your, all your smoke alarms are operating inside your home. So you have one per level, you test it, change the battery, making sure everything's good on that side. And as for exterior lights, CSA approved ones are the best way to go. And the main tip to avoid problems with them is to make sure they are all plugged in properly and not going to overload a socket. For CFTK TV News, I'm Kale Maslin.